The big task for this year is to get the hull fixed from the outside. We hope this could be achieved by good pressure wash and a little bit of paint. However, when we hauled out the boat, we discovered a very severe corrosion damage. So now we are facing a labor extensive, very expensive and extended time in the shipyard. So far we ripped out the galley, all the interior from the saloon and underneath the aft cabin and removed a lot of dusty old cork insulation together with some frames. Then we called in an expert who discovered a very big hole. But we decided to continue this project anyway. So what's up next? Hello, it is so good to see you again. After four weeks in Austria, we are now finally back at Flying Coney. We really like to spend time in Austria. However, it is also quite stressful because there is always so much we have to do there. And usually that's fine. We can take it easy when we come back. But this time we were in the yard before we left to Austria. And we were working five days on the boat and two days on the videos each week. And that is fine for some weeks, but it lasted more than three months. So we got more tired every day and we really needed a break, but there was none. And now we are back on the boat and trying to get the next video done. The Netherlands welcomed us with storm, rain and hail and our boat with a not working heater. So it really was a tough time with many unexpected things, absolutely no downtime and a lot of stress. We don't want to complain. It is the life we choose and we know with this kind of project it is always ups and downs. But let's hope for more ups in this year. However, we eventually managed to finish this video, which is all about fixing the hole this away I found last time. Hi, we are Daniel and Barbara. The last years we spent sail racing against the best sailors in the world. Then we decided it is time for a new chapter in life and bought a huge historic ship. And now we are in for a very long project and on a mission to convert this neglected steel boat back into the beautiful sailing ship she once was. So join us on this journey and welcome to the Shipyard Series. Lucas was just grinding away the paint to prepare the hull for the overplating. But the real question is, why do we have a hole in our ship? Well, the good thing is, the hull really is in good condition. There's plenty of steel left. However, for various reasons, there are some weak spots. And this hole here is right above the concrete where all the water collects. And on the inside, there was wood right against the hull, so it was just a matter of time until it rusted through. And now let's see how Lucas puts the overplating in place. There are different methods of fixing holes and thin spots on a steel ship. The overplating, the insert and riveting an entire new blade in. 
and there are upsides and downsides to all of them. However, for various reasons we picked the overplating, because we think it is the best solution for our situation. And as the fishermen say, overplate where you can, replace where you have to. And the next step is to spot weld the blade in place. After one year in the Netherlands, we understand quite some Dutch. However, the yard is on Urk, and there they don't speak Dutch. They speak Urksh, and that's impossible to understand. However, we did our best to subtitle it. What are you thinking? Now I put this... The closing the gap. Uh. Okay. Last time we decided to start Patreon and we are overjoyed that we already got our first supporters. So a massive, massive, massive thank you to all the kind people who decided to support this project. So the problem was how to close the gap between the overplating and the hull. And now let's see how Lucas fixes this problem.
In the beginning, we were no big fans of an overplating. We would have preferred an insert or exchanging the entire blade. However, in our time in the shipyard, we have seen working boats up to 120 years old, still working, and all of them had overplatings. And everyone in the yard and all the fishermen recommended to do an overplating because it is the best solution for such an old, riveted ship. And as there is no need to invent the wheel new every time, we decided to change our minds and go with the overplating. There are some things that need to be considered when overplating. For example, the hole must be also closed from the inside, because otherwise the overplating will rust on all four sides. But if done properly, it is a very good method. One thing that really amazed us is how basic the equipment is the lads are using to fix up such huge ships. 99% of the jobs are done with an angle grinder and an old stick welder. But sometimes they go fancy by using a car jack, welded in place. What else? For us that means basically we can do all the tasks ourselves if we have more time and it is not absolutely safety relevant. You just need an angle grinder and a stick welder and there you go.
And just like that, we found out that this hole will not be the last hole in our ship. Lucas welded the last river shut and the hole opened up right next to it. That's what repairing an old steel ship feels like. However, last week we took a big step. We finally started Patreon. And even though we planned to do it for quite a while, because we always thought Flying Coney is an interesting ship and definitely worth supporting, it was quite difficult for us. We don't like to ask for help and we definitely don't like to ask you for money. However, supporting us on Patreon will be a big help refitting Flying Coney. So we do our best to give you something back. I guess you can imagine how grateful we were when we got our first supporters on the very same day we published the last video. Thank you all so much. And if you want to become more involved in this project, you can head over to Patreon. I leave the link in the description. As a Patreon, you get real-time updates, group calls and many other benefits. And we are very grateful for your support. If Patreon is not for you, it is completely fine. We are delighted if you enjoy watching our videos. And we will keep on posting these videos here on YouTube for free, so nothing will change. But if you still want to support us, you can do so by leaving a like. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.